My name is Knife Addict, and I'm going to draw my life for you. I was born on July 10th, 1980. On that particular day, the doctor couldn't find the umbilical cord snippers, so he used a buck 110 instead. My fate was sealed. At the tender age of five, I used a kitchen knife to carve my newly learned initials into my mother's furniture. At age eight, my grandfather took us on a fishing trip with the promise of a knife if you caught a fish. I was successful and later picked out the biggest, meanest fixed blade I could find at the local sports store. It was the beginning of what would become a ridiculously large knife collection. My father's tomato plant soon became the casualty of a 10-year-old's custom karambit. While other kids were playing Nintendo, I was out deforesting the woods behind our house with my Victorinox. I also developed a habit of cutting paper. Paper cut tests became an irrepressible obsession. During my teens, sharpening and resharpening blades occupied most of my free time. Arm hair was always a scarce commodity. I started to carry a knife to school in each pocket, and I would flick them simultaneously during class. Teachers hated me, and I never quite knew why. During college, I discovered the knife forums. I became a college dropout shortly thereafter, and I got a job at a call center, where I could browse the web for knives while talking on the phone. I was making just enough money to buy a blade every paycheck if I ate ramen noodles and borrowed the neighbor's Wi-Fi. I constantly prowled for pocket clips among the populace, then accosted strangers about their EDCs. My life changed forever when I met a beautiful girl, fell in love, and got married. It changed again when YouTube was invented. Along with a knife addict, I was now a cutlery lover addict and a closet TNPer. I was hoarding knives, and I knew it. I was selling knives to buy more knives. I could disassemble and assemble my knives in the dark. I dreamed in Spyderco FRN handle colors, and my nightmares always involved failed slip joints. By the time our first child came, I was hiding credit card bills from my wife and picking fights on the forums over grind angles and steel types. Those were dark days. I'm not sure what changed to put my life back in order. Maybe it was that first Sabenza. Maybe it was the first XM18. Maybe it was the day Jeff's channel got hacked or the day my first OTF wore out. I don't really know. But something happened that brought my life back into focus. Now I only spend about an hour a day browsing Blade HQ's new arrivals section, watching YouTube videos and calling people names on the forums. I hunt for paramilitary twos on the weekends and scour blogs in search of new ways to pimp my knives. Choosing my EDC in the morning only takes 10 minutes now. My wife and I are usually only a few dollars away from the poor house, but she loves me anyway. Plus, she doesn't seem to mind my shaved arms, the cuts on my hands, or the calluses on my thumbs. My hopes and dreams are to one day meet Rick, and Chris, and Sal. Oh, and maybe less. I don't know what the future holds for me, but I know I'll be there with a blade in my pocket. Or pockets. Or two blades per pocket, and a neck knife. Plus multi-tool, plus machete in my bag. Maybe a flashlight. Or two. With peanut lighter, fire starter and Kubitar.